So I had a friend of mine recently come up to me. He said, hey, I want to get started with trading currency. And he asked me, do you think I can succeed? Do you think I can replicate the results that you have had? And I told him, absolutely not. You shouldn't start trading. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about why I said that to him and why I think some people will never succeed trading. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. If we knew around here, what we do is we talk about how to make money from the internet and trade currency. Now, first things first, if you have not already, I want you to hit the subscribe button because we have a ton of new content about to come out and I don't want you guys to miss it. Today's video, I want to talk about succeeding in trading. And I want to give you a little bit of an example of why I think some people will never succeed. So I want to take a step back. I want you guys to think back to the first time you learned a simple equation, say 8 plus 10. Everybody knows on this video and everybody watching this video knows what that equals. And if you do this every single time, it is going to equal the same exact thing. And it doesn't matter how many times you do it over and over and over again, it's going to do the same exact thing. Think about it this way. There is something called the law of gravity. If I hold this marker and I drop it, every single time, what is going to happen? That marker is going to drop. If I do it again, it's going to drop. It's a law. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter if I do that 10 million more times, it is going to drop. Now, why do I say that? Well, in trading, things are different. We are taught in life that if we do the correct equation, if we follow the rules, we will always get the correct answer. What if I told you that trading is a little bit different? What if I told you that trading is more like this? How many of you guys just got confused? 8 plus 10 equals 12? How? Well, in trading, you have to understand that you could follow the system. You know in your head it equals 18 but you get 12. You need to understand that things can go wrong in trading, but you didn't do anything wrong. Meaning you could do the exact same thing every single time and you're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some. So why do I say that some people will never succeed Forex trading? Well, I want you to think about yourself. Are you a analytical person? Do you like numbers? Do you like equations? Maybe you like geometry, maybe you like calculus, maybe you like accounting, maybe you like engineering. If you're that type of person, you are the type of person that has a less likely chance of actually succeeding. Why do I say that? Because you are used to the crispy numbers, the equations that always need to add up. And unfortunately in trading, you're gonna do the correct method every single time, and sometimes you're gonna win, and sometimes you're gonna lose. You see, some people are okay with that, and some people are okay with losing, but those analytical people, when they lose, they are not okay with it. And they need to dig, and they need to dig, and they need to dig, and they need to dig. And suddenly they don't find a reason. And suddenly that leads them to what I call the trader's cycle of doom. Well, the trader's cycle of doom is a four-part series. So at first, everybody has a strategy. And in their strategy, eventually a loss is going to occur. And so they start their strategy, they follow their rules, and a loss occurs. And that has them scratching their head and they're trying to figure out, okay, why did that happen? And that leads them to make changes to the strategy. And now they make changes. So they had a strategy that was called strategy A. And then they had a loss. And then that turned into strategy A.2. And then once they make those changes, they have another loss. And now what happens? They totally quit and that leads them back to a new strategy. This is what's called the trader cycle of doom. This loss sends those analytical people overboard. They think that because they lost one time on that strategy, that it's never going to work. And that's the difference between math or engineering or accounting and trading. Sometimes things just aren't gonna work. You're not always right, I'm not always right. Guess what's always right? The market. The market is always right. And this is a difficult concept for some people to understand. So if you can remember the cycle of doom, then I think you can have success in the market because you won't make those changes. You know that you need to get through this. You need to spend a few months on any given strategy to make sure it's a strategy worthwhile. 
Once you've done that and you've vetted it and you have your trading journal in place and you know what's going wrong, then you can make analytical changes that are going to benefit you. But one loss should not send you to shambles. So that is why I told my friend at the beginning of the story, no, because he was too analytical. He thinks that everything that black plus white equals gray or one plus two equals three, whatever the case may be, he is used to having that structure. Trading has no structure, it has no definition, it has no limits. And that's amazing, but that's also a big detriment to some people. So with that said, if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment down below. Do not forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video.